Hello, hello, and welcome back to Sexual Assault Theater as my shuffle mode run continues and Perfidious Pete plays Alice Magnus Returns. And sweet scrofulitic sweep scrotums, the people of Victorian London should be ashamed of themselves. Because Alice's trip to the real world last episode was a catalog of how not to proposition someone for sex. It was awful. A lot like sitting down in a conference room on a Tuesday afternoon with your coworkers and watching a marathon of every bad corporate sexual harassment video that has ever been made. It was literally a list of what not to do. Every single person, with the exception of an unconscious drunk, two men busily involved in some sort of punching contest and a corpse we found in an alley, but literally everyone else besides those three that Alice met either propositioned her or outright threatened her with sexual assault. It was pretty egregious. Oh, you know what? Wait, sorry, I forgot one guy. Credit where credit is due. The man in the furs also did not threaten Alice with sex, but that was probably because he was too busy punching her in the head and setting a building on fire after beating a whore unconscious for trick money. So, you know, it's tough to squeeze in a vaguely threatening sexual statement when you've got your hands so full. So, yeah, Victorian London, glorious place. Really makes me long for the gas lamp ages. Anyway... Actually, what it really does is make me be glad to be back in Wonderland. I mean, even if it is Alice's own little lunatic hallucinatory escapist fantasy realm, I understand now why she has created it, because the real world is fucking horrible. So let's get to work here. We got some teeth over there. Anything back here? Mm, nope, just a dead end. All right, Starfish, can we carve you up? We can, and you have teeth inside you. Which totally makes sense, because Starfish actually do have teeth. What is this over here? Okay, we'll come back to that. Anything up here? More teeth? A dead end and what appears to be some sort of jump, but we can go that way, right? What is that down there? Some kind of fish? I mean, are you an enemy? They're clearly not an enemy. There are more starfish down there, but we can't pepper... All right, let's go back this way. The completest in me really just wants to kind of explore the whole world. Let's whip the knife out. Let's go down around. There were teeth back here, right? Yeah, okay. Grab these. Oh, we're on... Oh, shit, it's a slide. All right, well, that's not really that big of a deal. Oh, uh, we're gonna miss a tooth. Uh, you know what? I'm not going back for it. It's fine. Ow! So, slithering ruin hiding in there. Aha! Missed me, ruin. Suck it. That thing disappeared in what appeared to be a splurge of some kind of seminal sort of fluid. That's real gross, Mr. Fish, man. I, I think the fish was jerking it. Well, you know, we did kind of interrupt his me time. I, what are you? I can't. No, they're diving into the ground. How does that work? Shrink sense? Anything? No? Okay. Oh, we got a bunch of ruin. Oh, God. It's one of those things. Oh, wait, that's the attack we got. So let's start carving up the crappy ones. And by the crappy ones, I mean the little guys. We're going to make this big... You know what? We're going to make this big guy suffer. That's my new attack pattern for this stuff. We make the big guy suffer. We make him watch his friends die. After his friends are all dead, after he's watched every last one of them suffer and die... Then, then we kill him. Then we put him out of his misery. He has to watch all of his friends suffer before we give him the sweet release of death that he so desperately wants for. Yeah, you're, go, go straight to hell, dude. Come on, bring it. Yeah, bring it. Oh, come on. Yeah, keep him coming. I'm a big Alice. I got him all right. Get peppered. Pepper until he's spicy. I'm gonna make the dive attack. Fine, come on. Get pepper until you're spicy. Throw the things. Come on, man, just throw the things. We both don't want to do this. You know I've got your number here. You're never going to hit me with your little dashing fist attack. This is not Super Street Fighter, and you are not Ryu. You're not going to hit me with that. This is very timing-oriented. I'm not sure we actually hit him with any of those. So pepper him. Oh, no, we got him in the face. Pepper him till he's spicy. Get him to throw the things. Reflect him back. Come on, get spicy. And our pepper grinder is out of juice. Come on, Pepper Grinder. Pepper you till you're... Okay, we'll just pepper you till you're not just spicy, but spicily dead. So enjoy that. What the fuck are you? So, clearly this giant's been drinking, and, uh, well, he's kind of puking over it. I don't know if I really want to go visit a vomiting giant. I mean, that just seems bad. I hear a snout. Yeah, I can see the Von Giant up there vomiting. Yeah. Also, I hear a snout. Where is the snout? over to our right. Snout, where are you? 
Aha, I heard you snuffling. So we pepper the snout, let's see what comes out. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I'm rhyming for the Duchess. Oh, rhyming for the Duchess would be like a fantastic name for like a female rap band. Be like, rhyming for the Duchess, yo. Or just the Duchess. That would be like the greatest female rap artist of all time. Did you check out the Duchess's newest album? Yeah, man, it's fucking sweet. Love that shit. She got mad skills. Her freestyle. She right on. All right, so you're puking, you're done vomiting, and we will sweep across. And, uh, okay, so we caught a little bit of his vomit blast, and I gotta say, dude, fucking seriously, get a Tic Tac or something, man. Come on. Ugh. It smells like fucking burning tires. Anything else down here? Oh, doesn't look like it. What are you? You are... What appears to be a dead turkey that has been dissevered and turned into some sort of hat. I, I'm not sure what you are, actually. You're an abomination unto the eyes of God. That's what you are. Let's just get away from that. Maybe that's a Frumius Bandersnatch. The jaws that bite, the claws that catch. I'm going to assume it's a Bandersnatch. Possibly a Jub Jub bird. Could be a Jub Jub. Yeah, oh, this is a slide. Okay. Got to watch out for the Jub Jub. A slide that went literally nowhere. We have a hobby horse. Is this a hobby horse? So it seems like we want the hobby horse. I also hear a snout. We gotta check it out because I hear a snout. Or yeah, snout. Wink again. Come on. I heard that. I hear you. I'm moving away from you, actually. Looks like it's over in that direction. All right, we'll check out the hobby horse first. All right, hobby, what do you got? You have just obtained the hobby horse. A smashing hit. Destroy all obstacles with unbridled power. Stampede through the opposition. Okay. How does it work? Hobby horse smashes through weak surfaces with ease. It can also break through enemy defenses. Oh, well, that'll be good for the murderous ruin. How do we use the hobby horse? Um, just teach me how to use the hobby horse, please. What are you? Oh, it's a splooge fish. It's an ice snark. Well, I liked it better when I was just calling him a splooge fish, but I guess to each his own. I guess we can't pepper the ice snark. Are you not pepperable? You appear to be pepperable. Are you dead? You are not dead. So we clearly can't hit it while it's in stealth mode. So how do we use this hobby horse? Oh, well, there we go. Get horsed, yeah. All right, ice snark, where you at? You're hiding in a hole, black. Well, the ice snark's not really much of a deadly issue. We're gonna blow that up. Oh, another ice snark. More ice snarks. So peppering the ice snarks is not fantastically useful. Oh, some kind of all right, ice attack. Interesting. Dumb breather ice. Man, everybody in this realm has like the foulest breath. This is basically the realm of we really need a bunch of Tic Tacs. What's going on here? Everybody in this dump really could use a breath, man really all they want. These ice snarks, I mean, they're not bad chaps. They just really, really need a mint. We, you know, if we had like a roll of certs or something, we could rule this realm and everyone would worship and adore us. All right. Remember to spin my teeth with the weapons menu. There's a menu for that? Oh, we've been looking for Hollow Eve like it was a location and it's not a location at all. We could just do it whenever we want. All right. So let's get more pepper grinder. Hell yeah. More pepper grinder. Do I want to upgrade the hobby horse? Not really, it's expensive. I'm going to upgrade my Vorpal Blade because I love the snickerty snack. So there we go. I, I'm glad I knew it was a menu. Thanks. All right, well. Man, the Vorpal Blade has a wicked red edge to it. It's like we added more blood. And I really think adding more blood is a strong upgrade for your Vorpal Blades. The more blood you can bathe them in, the deadlier they get. Now, there was a snout somewhere over here. We want to try and keep a lookout for the snout. I'm guessing he's around... Invisible? No, nope. we can hobby horse this though. Yeah. Oh, here we go. It's a big dead mouse. That's kind of horrible. All right, more hobby horse. Where's the snout? I hear him. He's dead. Oh, he's right below us. I don't think we're gonna be able to pepper him from here. Let's see if we can jump across and pepper him from over the gap. It's probably exactly the way this is gonna go. All right, get peppered. We got it out for the snout, and now we can easily jump to the other platform. And pick up a memory. Grave news. The ship was crushed, and her crew lost. She was not built for navigating the Arctic ice fields. The recent competition...
to the government in fitting out polar expeditions is a needless waste of human life. What ship are you talking about, Dr. Bumby? And also, why do I care? Am I like a, a shipping magnate or do I bear some like partial interest in part of a shipping concern? Were the Liddell family um, some sort of uh, like insurers of ship and ship based travel? Is that how that works? We can get up here. Ooh, maybe. Actually, we might be able to make that jump. What if we start from a little higher up, like over here? Because we had distance, what we needed was height. Ah, totally can. And bam, hobby horsed. Suck it. And there was nothing in here but just a couple teeth. Shrink sense? Nothing. Yeah. Back out into the main room. Oh, there are invisible. So I guess we did it the hard way and the stupid way because I'm dumb. Well, it still worked. So, suck that shrink sense. I didn't even need your help. Yeah, take that. Hobby horse is telling me to bash stuff over here. Is there something bashable? I don't see anything bashable. I think shrink sense is full of shit in this case. All right, well, so shrink sense will tell us if we're ever at a loss for what to bash. We can always use uh, shrink sense. Looks like it's going to fill us in. Shrink sense, always on the spot. Shrink sense news brought to you 24 7 by shrink sense. Shrink Sense Corporation reminding you to Shrink Sense News. Not reliable. Don't trust Shrink Sense. It lies. We have a fight in here, it looks like. All right, so I see some more angler fish. Can I just pepper these guys from far away? This seems to be working relatively reasonably. Come on, pepper grinder. Yeah, um, that actually works quite well. No need to go down there and hobby horse them. We just uh, will whack them with our pepper grinder. And our Vorpal Blade appears to be doing dramatically more damage with its new upgraded form. Pepper Grinder seems to just shoot a little quicker with the upgrade. And so none of these foes are producing much difficulty at all. Get Hobby Horsed. Or get... Oh, we can... Oh, the Hobby Horse has multiple swings. Interesting. You can hit people like baseball bat style swing. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. All right, the hobby horse is the shit, man. We're going to be riding that thing all over. And again, I can't help but notice that yet another of Alice's tools has a somewhat vaguely sexual sort of connotation from sexual assault theater. Alice, oh, you're going to ride that hobby horse, baby? Yeah, ride that horse. See? Vaguely sexual. I'm telling you, everything in this entire realm is all about sex. It's, uh, it's pretty much nonstop. There's a lot of vague, sinister sexual overtones going here. I mean, Alice is a young woman who I think is of consenting age. There's no reason to be surreptitious about it or keep making veiled inferences or just threatening her with outright sexual assault. I mean, she's an adult capable of making her own decisions. If you're interested in Alice romantically, why don't you just ask? I mean, she might whack you with a hobby horse because she is kind of crazy. So maybe just straight up asking her is not necessarily the best idea. because She seems to be a little at least unstable, but... Who isn't a little unstable? I mean, seriously, at least all of us are at least a little unstable. It's just the way it works. I wonder if Hobby Horse is good for wrecking this shit. I'm pretty good, actually. So let's keep Hobby. There's a memory up there. Anything else for Shrink Sense? Worthwhile? Noting? No? Okay. We'll grab another memory. Chris Whitless never saw a bottle of gin she couldn't empty in an hour. Do most anything for rotten and a long taste of blue ruin. Chris Whitless, I believe, is the evil nurse that we uh, have encountered, who's theoretically one of our caretakers. This fish behind glass is kind of horrible. Although I can see why they had it mounted. I don't know about having it frozen, but uh, that's definitely a keeper. I mean, when you say that fish was this big, hey, they weren't kidding. That's a big damn fish. Uh, Shrink Sense, what was this on the floor that you wrote? It wrote, go this way, effectively. Okay, well, fine, we can go this way. Shrink Sense is bash over. Oh, Shrink Sense is conflicting. This looks breakable. It is, in fact, breakable. But this also looks breakable. I would rather go this way before going down. This is also breakable. Well, now I'm confused. Which which hole do I jump down first? I mean, both holes seem tempting. And let's go this way. I don't want to... The completest... Okay, so this is... Very difficult to navigate, given the weird camera inversion, but we did pick up a bottle. How do we get out of here, then? Oh, we probably just jumped. Yep. So definitely that was the right hole to go down first. I'm guessing, yeah, we're not going to be able to go back. 
So, jumping into mysterious holes is Alice's bit now, but we do have a hobby horse to help defend us. Ride in that hobby. And since we've picked up the new-fashioned, new-fangled, delicious, lovely horse, I think we got no choice but to keep on riding it to the end, baby. Let's pony up. I'm guessing there's going to be a fight of some variety in this room. Oh, there's a slithering ruin in there, but with our new fang... Man, the Vorpal Blade does considerably more damage as since the upgrade. Considerably. All right, I hear a snout. I hear you, snorting, snuffling. You little snout, you. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you out, snout. It's beyond a wall. Okay, so there's a mushroom. Anything in shrink sense here telling me? Secret platforms. Aha. Secret platforms will lead to the snout, then. I have no doubt that we will get to the snout. Or just pick up some teeth. All right, so can we see that? There he is. All right, snout. Very clever. Whip it up. Come on. Deliver unto me your secrets. We'll head over here, bash this with the old hobby horse, and see what lies behind. What's behind the curtain, Monty? A basket from the Duchess. Man, the new Vorpal Blade really does a lot more damage. I'm real glad we upgraded it. So that should be it then for this room. All right, let's go ride the mushroom. Ride the wild mushroom. And we have... Some sort of cutscene. All right. Heed the cat. I'm not really going to heed the cat because every time I've heeded the cat, I got to say he hasn't really told us much of anything. And I think this is probably where we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. So you and your cat can take your advice and stick it straight up your ass. Me and my hobby horse are going to ride this slide here in a minute all the way to town. But before we do that, let's go ahead and end things. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Of course, your support really does mean a lot to us. And if you'd like to watch Alice smash more angler fish in the face with a giant stuffed hobby horse, Consider subscribing as well. We post new episodes of Alice Minus Returns every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Right now, however, Alice and I are going to go feed that horse because he's had a lot of work and no oats today. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.